Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Here's Bayan with Bayan Hello. Today, we're gonna show you how to install interior door and uh, how to measure the right measurement when you buy the door. That way, it's no mistake. And uh, and a few little tricks. Let's work. Yes, I'm gonna show you how to measure the rough open. That way, you you would get the right door for your house. Let's see, this one is, uh, we have a two and a quarter here. Yeah, this is a no rough open for 28 inch door. We have here, the height is, uh, we have 82 inches. And uh, for the gem, this is a two by four gem, so what we have there is a four and a half. For the gem. Yes, um, I, I will show you the measurement when you're going to buy the dough, how you find the right dough. So here you look, this one, the gem is a four and a half. When you are on the hardware store, you check the gem. See, we have the four and a half, about four and a half. The height of the dough. Total height we have a uh, eight one and three quarters. Yeah, it is smaller than the open. That way allowed us to move it around in case it, it is out of level. If you could have a gap about a half inch, three quarters, it's good to work with. So in this case, this door here, the measurement is a uh, tight measurement. We have a uh, twenty nine five eighths. The open is two and a quarter. So we have a lot of space to play with this door. Okay. Once, you, once you have all your measurement, you gotta make sure which side the door gonna swing. Is it a left swing or a right swing? On this case here, we have a, this door gonna swing to the left against the wall. And uh, one indication of that is um, we have the switch, the light switch. Once you open the door, you want to be able to reach for the switch to turn on the lights. So this is a, a good indication which way you need the door to open. And let's work. When you buy the door, usually they come with the paper, a paper like this one. With the with the measurements. This is the width of the door, 28 inches, 80 inches height. And this is the gem. And this indicates if it's whether left or right door. This is LEL, that means left. Right. It open to the left. If you have the right hand, you're gonna have an are that indicate that open to the right. Okay, once you have your door, now it's time to check for the level. This side, where the, we're gonna install the ridge of the door, we have to make sure this is level. This is out of level. So what we're gonna do here, we have to have it level. It's about this much. So. Yeah, we're gonna use some shim to level this door. And uh, if you don't know what a shim is, I will show you. The bottom is thick. The top is a little bit narrow, so. How we use it, once we have the gem, I will show you, but I show here, like, we put two pieces and you just push them against each other and cut. This is a, uh, make sure it is a square. And then you push it in as much as you need. I know this is out of level, like I check, I know the space that I need in here, so it's about almost half inch, so this is less than half inch. 
So I just gonna nail it on, that way easier for me to put next piece up. I just use a, a Dewalt nail gun, 18 volt battery, old timer. For this one I use a inch and a half nails and uh, easy, just enough. Okay, I know, I know this one here, the reason that I'm doing it is just to be easier for me to put a shim because I'm gonna need another shim here. And uh, this way, this one hold on place, I just have to worry about one, one shim. Yeah, the new door usually they come uh, either a screw or a piece like that to hold it on place. So we need to remove it. This is just a screw on. That. Nothing much to it. Yeah, we don't need that because I discard it, right? Okay, now we're gonna put this door in place and check to see how it's gonna fit. Alright? Let me just grab a few screws. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the the level to put in the dough gem flat with the drywall. Like I know it is uh I use the level when we're doing the trim we know it's uh, flat like you guys can see. Don't need to go crazy anything flat like you can use like uh, don't have to be really a level do it. Here I am just use a dry oil screw gun. Don't need more than that. It's just what I have right on the hand right now. So is what we're gonna use. But we can use a drill or any other tools. And I'm use like a, this is a, a leave two and a half inch screws. We measure them. This is a two and a half wood screws. Um, I can use the shim to level the door. I'm gonna check to see how it looks. I just put one screw on the bottom just to hold it for now. And then I do my checking to see how it looks. This is about level, so I'm just gonna put a single screw on the top. And then to make sure I have it straight, I'm just gonna check with this one. Looking good. Gap, like you guys see. I don't need this white, so I'm just gonna split this guy on half. May I see that they go very easy. And just use a utility knife to cut it, nothing too crazy. Can use the saw too. So this is a, I show you guys how you do the shim. So we're gonna have one, we're gonna have one on each side, and then we're gonna push them until they are tight. So this is uh, how we do it, one from each side, and then we just push it in, okay? Just can bend on it a little bit, not too much. Okay. Now before I put any more screws, I'm gonna check the dough from the other side. Because uh, in this case, we wash the dough 
very tight to the floor so we not lift them up so if you guys I can show you guys this way what I'm looking for in here yes in this case here I'm not look for level level anymore what I'm looking here is to see if the gaps are the same on this part the top part of the door what I'm looking here to see if the door is square see I just look to see if this space on this side is the same as this side like I can I can see from here this side is a is less we're gonna try to we're gonna push this uh, this side of the gem up a little bit that way the gap would increase in there see? that way we know the it is square with the gem yes yeah, so in this case here need to go up a bit so I'm gonna try to push it up with use my hand if it doesn't go I'm just gonna use this small crowbar so just a small one a nail puller let me see oh yeah it went up with the with the hand I'm still gonna put the crowbar down now it's a, a way better than uh, before went up a bit we have the, the gap is the same from this side and this side so we are good we're just gonna screw it on place put few more shims and we'll be good to go we're gonna see if this is straight enough for us to put the finish the trim so I'm just gonna use the level and gonna make sure it is straight with the dryer all I do is like this and then I just gonna put as a straight good enough so I just gonna put one screw in here that should take care of it we have a little piece of drywall sticking out I just gonna I just gonna cut it where I gonna put the shim just, I'm just gonna use the knife again yeah this is uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, similar what we did on top we want the same distance same gap on the top we want it in here so I'm just gonna I'm gonna push the shim in until we have the the same distance I'm gonna put one screw here on the bottom to make sure this is nice and straight I just see the other side I use the level but this time I'm just gonna use this piece just to show you guys that it uh, doesn't have to be a level something that is straight you just do that See, it's nice and straight to put the trim in. Now we have this on place. There's one more thing that we're gonna check. See, I'm just gonna close the door. Gap looks good. What I'm looking for is this to see if the door is, is touching the jam. What what I'm look on this side here see is this gap if the gap on top here and on the bottom is the same in this case is uh, the gap on the bottom is a little bit like you guys could see the gap was a little bit bigger what I'm gonna do in here okay I'm gonna remove the screw and move the jam a little bit this way that way you have the gap the same i show you guys how to do it this 
also on here I'm not too worried because uh, the dog might be a little bit bad I'm just make sure the top is tight bottom is tight and then I will put my screw back this door looks nice and good so we're gonna put some more shim and uh, some more screws to make sure that they're gonna stay on place and give some support for the gym. We are here doing it. We're gonna put some extra shim on this side. The rear side, that is where I hold all the weight of the door. So the way I do it, this side would be hard for me to reach with my hand in there. So I'm gonna put one chin this side, push it all the way in, just like that. Then I come with this other one, and I put more or less that and push it back. Like that way I would have something to grab from both sides. Now we just now we just put some screws. Yes, I'm just gonna use a utility knife to cut it. Just like I'm just gonna score it a few times. Then I could score from this side. And then they just break off. the shim and uh, the door is closing good what is left here to do is to put the stone the lock and put the trim around it but that would be another day another video and uh, this are the shim that we just use and cut from the door I'm just gonna take them and use in another door nothing goes to waste Okay, now you guys know how to install a door. If you have any question, let, let me know in the comments. I will reply to all the comments, so don't be shy, leave your comments. And thank you very much. On the next time, we're gonna show you how to install the trim. Yes, okay, the work that been done here is on the half duplex project. And we, we do an update doing many videos and we will link the, all those videos on this one. Thank you guys and see you later.